All right, hey guys, so we are doing a cook with me. You guys requested it, so we are doing it. Um, this is number two. If you guys have not seen cook with me number one, Danny's tuna melts, go check that out. Today we are doing flautas. Did I say that right? Flautas. Flautas. So um, I'll just show you the first part right now because it does need to sit in the crock pot most of the day. The chicken does. Ch so, chicken, so we're doing chicken, chicken flautas. flautas. Yes. yes. So yes. Yeah. So basically, all you do to start is you pour in the chicken. Boom. Frozen. It looks weird. Boom. You can't say boom without saying boom shakalaka. That's right. Okay. So um, this is just the frozen chicken from uh, Trader Joe's, and literally. Just stick it in there, and then I just pour salsa over it. That's it. We got the paste picante sauce. My paste picante sauce. It's medium. Does anyone remember those commercials? Paste picante sauce. Here, get it. Get me to All right, ready? Boom. It looks so gross right now, but once it's all done, oh, the chicken comes out so lovely Ooh. and flavorful. So I'm literally doing, I don't even know how many chicken breasts are in here. <laughs> it's three pounds. So, so remind them, we are not professional we cookers. We are not professional cooks, but you guys requested us to cook some things. Yeah. So um, try at your own risk, I guess. But this is just kind of what we do on a regular, like what we would make for our family. So yeah. We could I have. I don't know all the like, le the cooking lingo. Like I don't, I'm not that. I'm yeah, so chef. we I'm slap, we slap, stick, and serve. That's what we do. <laughs> Boom, ba, ba, done. Like, yeah. that's basically it. So, yes, that's what we did. We did, we put all the chicken in. I don't know how many chicken breasts are in there, guys, but it's enough for our family. We usually use one bag of the Trader Joe's. Is this Trader Joe's even? <laughs> no, that's, um, I think what it's Winco. This? Oh, this is Winco. That's Winco. I'm sorry, no hormones, home moment. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> no hormones or steroids added, which I like. Oh, or is this? No, that's, that's Winco. Oh yeah, this is Winco. Okay, so I just put a whole bag in, it's three pounds, and then I did a whole thing of salsa, which is um, 38 ounces. So, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, the mild. And then I'll cook this for six hours. So this will cook for six hours, and as soon as that's all cooked through, I'll show you guys the rest of the steps that we do. I actually, just made this for the first time ever. Last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, and it was a hit. Like anything that my family, everyone loves, it's just like our go-to meals that we do all the time because I know they'll eat them. So we'll see how it turns out. Looking good, smelling good. Ooh, ooh, la, la. What are you doing? The mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm putting Ritz crackers on it for my crunch. Here we go. Have you tried it yet? Mm-mm. Ooh, that looks so good. Serious. That does not feed two people. That no, is, not, not that, for me. Yeah, that's a one person deal right there. Oh, that looks good. Can I take a bite? Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, me take a bite? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you saying, I, I can't take a bite? <laughs> wow. Selfish. Selfie. Guess I'll make my own. Jeez. Well, you said it. No, yourself. it's okay. It's not. No, 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 no. Let's get your first reaction. That's good. Is it? Cheesy, wheezy, bobeezy? Yeah, it's really good. Cheesy, it's good. It's got the crunchy wow. leg. So. I, have, I do want to get the bacon bits, but this is what we have. We have the Ritz crackers, so this is a great recommendation. Mm. A little hot right now, but mm. would you buy it again? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. That looks good. Perfect, perfect for a quick little lunch. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, you guys, it has been six hours. So seis, say seis, seis horas. Seis horas. <laughs> Knock it off. All right, let's check this out. Put the camera here. Ready? Ooh. Isn't that look good? Okay, so you just take the chicken out now. Actually, all of the kids, as soon as they got right home, now. all of the kids, as soon as they got home, were like, 
What's that smell? It's so good. That's the best thing about crock pot meals is like you smell it throughout the house all day. It's isn't, so nice. Isn't that like one of the best things as a parent when you cook? To hear that from your kids? Yeah, they're like, oh, it smells so Or when you tell them what you're cooking, they're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best. You guys can probably hear them. They're outside playing right now, which is another best. I love hearing that sound of them playing and getting along. But you know when there's like 15 minutes of laughter, you're like just waiting for like... The fight. The fight. We'll to see if start. that happens. I hope not. All right. We probably could have done more chicken than this. All right. So basically, what you do now is just you take it out and then you just start shredding it. Just take a fork and start shredding the chicken. Could you put that in the uh, the KitchenAid shredder or no? Is it better? You just... could. This is just quicker. I feel like, and it's less of a like mess. It's not another thing you have to bring out and clean yeah. later. I'm sure some people probably use the. KitchenAid, I just, I just don't. I'm old school, I like to use two forks. Baby, that's right. That's from the Boise, and Idaho. No, and no apron. Sorry guys, I don't really wear an apron. Unless it's like Thanksgiving. You do I'm, sometimes. Like Thanksgiving, like if I'm cooking a lot, a lot, I'll do. Your yellow one? No, oh yeah, it is yellow. Good job, babe. My grandma made it for me actually. I probably should wear it more. But uh, I don't wanna ruin it has meaning. So, yeah, just go ahead and shred, shred, shred. It smells good, huh? Yeah, it totally does. Jasper's over here. That's another yeah. sign you know food's cooking because Jasper's, Jasper's like, what is this? He tries to come over and hover to like see if anything's gonna fall on the floor. <laughs> and usually it always does. Look at him. He's just camping. He's no dummy. Tries to turn his back like as if he doesn't know what's going on. He's like, oh, I just want to be right next to you. No big deal. And then something accidentally falls. This is hot though. If he tried to eat this, burn his mouth off. So this is pretty much all shredded. It doesn't take that long. All right, guys. So the next step is um, the other items you need are cream cheese and um, cheese of your liking. I usually like the Mexican blend mix, but we don't have any, so we're gonna use the Colby and Monterey Jack, which is works too, because cheese is cheese and it's delicious. So, no way, there's nothing like the Mexican cheese. Mexican cheese. The oh. Mexican. Mexicano. No, Mexican. Mexicano. No, Mexican. Mexicano. Say Mexican. Mexican. You're messy. What? <laughs> the Mexican. <laughs> is that funny? Mexican. Okay, you guys, remember at the beginning we said, we don't really, I don't really measure stuff, like, unless it's like a recipe I've never done. She can't stop laughing. So basically, I just do the cream cheese to taste, so I don't know, how much is that? That's like, All right. that's that much. That's not that much. Slam bam, thank you ma'am, right? Oh, whoa, <laughs> I just whoa, like, this is a kid show. What does that mean? Oh my that gosh. That wasn't inappropriate. Say it again. Slam bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> that is not inappropriate. How is that inappropriate? Oh my gosh. Look, come get this. Focus on the chicken, would you? Gosh, get your mind out of the gutter. Oh gosh, you're the one slamming bamming. <laughs> what? You're so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just mix in, just do it to taste. If you like a lot of cream cheese, put in a lot of cream cheese, you know? There you go. I've done at least four spoonfuls right now. This just makes it creamier, which is lovely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm losing some chicken here. We need to. Oh, wow. Just that. toss it back in. Well, yeah, the counters are clean. You're supposed to eat it. No. So, yes. Yeah, so, I think we need a little bit more. Why? To make it more creamy. Right. So, but like, what, what's, what makes you. Well, because like some pieces look a little dry, you know what I mean? Like, so you can like look at it and kind of see that. So should it have like, kind of like the consistency of like, well, like tuna? Like this. Should it have like, like I tuna? I guess, kind of, yeah. With kinda mayonnaise? Looks like, yeah, kind of looks like tuna, huh? Way more flavorful and more delicious than tuna. Listen to that. <laughs> that does look like tuna, you're right. See? But it doesn't taste like tuna. Don't let that like distract you from making it. <clears throat> Okay, and then you put in the cheesy, cheesy. Amberlynn likes to eat these, this, like by the mouthful. Ooh. I'm just gonna grab a handful 
I don't know, about one handful of cheese. Nice. <laughs> Maybe two. Actually, let's do two. Handfuls. Yeah, we like two. We'll we like a lot of cheese. Handfuls. Oh okay. yeah. Then just stir that up, guys. Just stir it real good. Get her in there. Get her. <laughs> oh know, man. Knock it off. Never I don't even have to comment on no, this. You, you do it all right. on your own. Whatever. You guys are trying to cheat. I'll give it to you. Right okay. Now. Okay. So now we're gonna get ready to put it. Put this mixture in the tortillas. These are from, I can't remember where, Costco? Yes, Costco. These are actually really good ones for this. So, just take the tortilla, and the what? then the tortilla, tortilla, tortilla. Tortilla, tortilla. yes. Okay, so then you just put um, the chicken mix inside the tortilla. You can do as much as you want, like however much you want inside there however meaty you want it to be. And then you just roll it, like easy peasy. I already sprayed my pan so it doesn't stick. And then boom, boom, done. Boom. That's it. That's it. Do you put anything on the um, I will, the tortillas, like butter or anything yeah, on the outside? Yeah, so after, yes, after I put the them all on here, I will melt some butter and just kind of spread butter on top of the on top of the tortillas and then put it in the oven. And I am preheating the oven at 350 right now. So 350 preheat and then I don't even know how long I do it for. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I just kind of eye it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. That's how I do it with my tuna you know melts. Yeah. See? We're not professionals here, guys. But uh But it tastes good. It tastes so good. We love, like this meal, like even Emberlin mouths it down. So how many are you going to pretty much be able to make out of that? So out of this, I'll probably be able to make quite a bit, actually. Probably. And they're pretty decent size. She uses the big tortillas. No, these are big. So like, I feel like one of these are really filling. Like they're not, because I'm like pretty, I'm putting a lot of chicken on here. She's being generous. Generous. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm just, yeah, so like one or two will fill, like I think the other kid, like the little kids will be able to eat maybe one of these. Cause we're gonna make rice after this too. Spanish rice. Nice. All right guys, got them all rolled. How many did I do? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I made 16 out of all of that meat. Um, so now I'm just going to put the butter on. I don't have one of those brush thingies, so sorry. I know we're totally ghetto up in here. So I just spread the butter on just to kind of make it so it's like a golden brown when it bakes and it doesn't like totally dry it all out. Do you like flip them over at all? Nope. No, okay. Nope. No need. No need. No need to do that, no. So the other side, I think the Pam spray helps make them golden too and doesn't stick. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. They turned out well last time, you know, never know. You never know, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what these remind me of? Remember those chimichangas that you would eat at school? Those are what? Chimichangas. <laughs> I said that right. Chimichangas? Chimichangas. Chimi what do you want me to say? I never had chimichangas. chimichangas. No? The chimichangas at school. They had like the long chimichangas. They had like beef in them. Oh, they're so good. No, Those I had... Like my favorite uh, day because they had ranch. Oh. My favorite day was the squared pizza, the rectangular, rectangular pizza? shaped pizza. Those, yeah. It was good. The cheese pizza. Oh, even the pepperoni was good too. Was it? Yeah. But my favorite, my favorite in junior high, Toll Junior High School, was the grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, so, so good. I feel like the schools always had good grilled cheese. Yes, I think, I think I've almost come close to making my grilled cheese similar to You've mastered to the grilled cheese, I They're think. They're pretty good. Yeah. But man, you have to have just the right crisp and the cheese has to be it melted. It has to be just the right amount of time in yeah. the oven. So I'm gonna do these last lonely two over here and then put it in the oven. I'll time it for you guys and let you know how long I put it in for, but it's at 350. I'll stick it in, time it, let you guys know how long it takes. So we're gonna stick it, slap it, serve it. Boom. That's what we do. That's what we do, guys. That's how we do it. If you guys have any questions too on if I left anything out or anything, feel free to comment below and ask any questions. We try to respond to all of you guys. So if you have anything or even any requests that you guys want to see us cook, we can attempt it. 
Yes, we can. I still want to attempt bread. I've never made it before. So we'll see. So I'm just going to stick these puppies in there. Get a shot of that pup bad boy. There we go. It is 4.52. Let's work on the rice. All right, so for the Spanish rice, this is Danny's mom's recipe that we that I just got from her and have made it ever since. It's awesome and amazing and super easy. So basically, all you need is rice, chicken booyah, chicken booyah, chicken booyah and then some butter and salsa. So what we do is just put the butter in the pan. How much? Um, <laughs> just whatever. Just, just enough to kind of like butter your pan you know just what I mean? enough to like butter your pan right sounds what good what would you say that's like that's i don't know i gotta wait for you to heat up a wow you did some more just a little bit i'm waiting for they got this strawberries tina cut them all put them in bags they're almost so gone you good. guys remember at the hall we had those big three bins i think we have maybe three or four of those bags left that's it gone it's my second bag today yeah they're good strawberries though strawberries are in season right now so they're super good it's from the driscoll's the driscoll's um strawberries yeah okay so i have two cups of rice here i'll probably add some more though so you just pour it in with the butter and then you kind of just wait until the rice is like a golden like a golden brown so no water or anything like that well not yet oh not yet baby gotta wait what we got? Okay, so I did three cups. Three cups of rice. See guys, I measure some things. Well, I'll get better with it so you guys can kind of know. I eye a lot of things. I don't know why. Because you're that good. Oh yeah, that's not why. Maybe because I'm lazy. Okay, so then I'm just going to stir this in here until it browns. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, smells good. Okay, so we gotta wait. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to use the salsa from the crock pot just so I don't waste any of it, and because I don't have any more. So it works just as good. So I get like a cup of salsa. This is gonna be a little bit more liquefied. That's okay though. And chicken, but that's okay too. <laughs> wow. Watch out! You're in my way, boy. Okay. We're gonna do a cup. Of salsa. As soon as that rice, yeah, it's usually thicker, guys. We'll see how this turns out. Oh, wow! <laughs> It'll probably still be good. Salsa, salsa, right? Well, if you have to add any water, maybe hold off on it and just use that. No, I have to use more water than that. Okay, so this is kind of getting to like a golden brown. Not really brown, but it's kind of a golden. <laughs> I like to pretend like I'm on a cooking show, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> it's kind of getting golden brown. Paula Dean, uh, eat your heart out, all right? It's getting brown, kind of golden. Eh, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, man. I'm just trying to keep the conversation flowing here, okay? <laughs> man, this is a hard job. I don't know how, what, let's see, Rachel Ray, she's like good too. All right, I'm gonna pour the salsa in again. Usually it's just salsa out of the thing. This is a little bit more watered down, but that's okay. So we're gonna do the salsa. One cup of salsa, maybe a little more. <laughs> you like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't add any water. <laughs> I have to, you have to add water. But that has water in it already. I know, but you have to add water, babe. You really think the rice is going to cook like that? Show them. I know what I'm doing. If you mix it up a little bit. Babe, it doesn't. Rice has to have extra water to, to actually cook. So basically with the water, you do it so till it's like just over the rice. So basically so, till it's golden brown. <laughs> oh, shut it. You're not allowed to cook with me anymore. Okay, so I don't even measure it, but it's... and. When I got this recipe, his mom didn't give me like this much. This Blame much, this it much. on my no, mom. No, she didn't though. 
told me with the water, she's like, do it so it's just above the rice. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna do it. That's just above the rice. And then the chicken booyah. <laughs> chicken booyah. Chicken booyah, we are doing, this is the secret ingredient. This is what makes or breaks it, guys. If you don't have this, it doesn't taste the same. We've had it without it, and it's not the same. So I'm gonna just keep saying that. Okay, so like um, this size of spoon, uh -huh. teaspoon, tablespoon, I don't know which. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in twice. Oh. So like two tablespoons, we'll say, or teaspoons maybe. Tablespoons probably. <laughs> whatever you get at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, whatever. All right, so, and then you just kind of stir it all together. This is a lighter color than normal because of the salsa, but that's okay. It's gonna, you, that might taste good, have a little chicken flavor mixed yeah, with it. Yeah, it'll be good. I think it's gonna be delicious. So I'll just let this boil, and then you turn it all the way to low, Put a lid on it and then let it simmer and you know rice. You'd have to let it simmer. So, and then it's done. Boom, shaka laka. How are those taquid um, flautas? Let's check those flautas. Ooh. Ooh, so how do you know? Watch your hand. What are you doing? They're not done yet. They have to be more You gotta have safety on this show too. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna stick your head in there next and take a bite. <laughs> I never said I was smart. Wow. Where's your hair net, woman? <laughs> Shut it. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, these are ready to come out, guys. The way you can tell is the ends are kind of crisp. You see how that is? Ooh. Boom, done. So that took about 30 minutes, which I'm kind of surprised. Um, you could probably up the temperature and do it for less time. I just like to keep it at 350 so that it doesn't like burn it or whatever, but yeah, look at those crisp edges. Nice. Yeah, so there's those. Those are all done. I like your Dollar Tree uh... gloves. Yep. They're the bomb. So that's that. And then you put it with whatever you want. So like sour cream. We have sour cream, salsa verde, regular salsa, hot sauce, guacamole. You could do any of that <coughs> stuff. Let's see if this is done. Okay, so this is way lighter than normal. Like It's still gonna have flavor though. It's still gonna have flavor. It still is actually feeling a little crunchy. Nice, we like the crunch. Crunchy rice. All right, so rice is almost ready. Rice is almost ready. This stuff is done, smelling good. Ooh, nice and crisp, that's like perfect. All right, so here we go, getting them all set up for the kids. Open that's it up. Ethan's, Ethan nice loves the sour cream. Hot meal. My other kids are pretty plain. They don't like anything on them, so. There we go, salsa verde. Just eat it. Salsa verde. Okay, he wants it on his rice, too. Rice, too? Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that looks so good. So good. Yeah. Let's see, salsa take your verde. bite. Sour cream, guys. Let's see first. your first reaction. Ashlyn's not here. She's out with a friend shopping. 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 Oh, shopping. Like the shopping. Listen to that crunch, dude. How is that? I only got to taste the tortilla. Okay, good. <laughs> you only got to taste the tortilla. <laughs> Comment down below if you like these. Thumbs up. Yeah, tell them to try it. Try cooking it. You tried them. So let's see. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Crunchy, huh? Amazing. You gotta get through that first bite. Mmm, the crunch is good though. Hot! <laughs> mm. Hot. Mm, mm, mm. Good? Hot, but good. Mmm, mmm, mm. Yeah, these turned out really hot, good. Actually. Hot, 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 I love Well, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Cook with me, Tina's flautas. You guys, go try these. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you you were watching and like think there should be an addition to it. I'm always up for new ideas, trying something new, so let us know. And also let us know below if you actually make them. And goulash. let us know what you think of them. Yes. Do goulash. They're really good. You should do a cook with me goulash. 
Yes, we'll yes. do goulash. Someone actually thing. did request that, so we will do the goulash coming up also. Yeah, Tina does an awesome goulash, shepherd's pie, so good. and the potato, what is it? The funeral you know, potatoes. potatoes. Oh, so potato. awesome. So, you know, potatoes. coming soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, choose, choose your, your day. day.